Well, folks, today was the day. A week ago, we talked to the organizer. And today, Wednesday, out in Washington, D.C., at the Capitol, uh, thousands and thousands and thousands of people were uh, gathered together. And uh, it was an event called Audit the IRS. It was a Tea Party response to the scandal. And joining us now is a man who I, I didn't hear what he said, but I had the monitor on with the sound off. And Brent Bozell, the president of the Media Research Center, he was animated as could be. Hey, Brent, how are you? I'm well. How are you doing, Steve? Good, good. Great to talk to you again, my friend. Um, I saw you up there on the on the podium at the microphone, and uh, you were you were passionate as always. Yeah, uh, it was it was something you couldn't miss, but you did. <laughs> yes, right. No, well, I you know I had no choice. But so tell us, uh, tell you know, for those of us who were not there, uh, tell us what it was like. How many people? Who spoke? What? And uh, and tell us. You know, the irony here is. Um, you know, the IRS, I guess, in an organized effort, some would say, uh, tried to destroy the Tea Party, um, dismantle the Tea Party, frustrate the Tea Party, and uh, they, they've, they've given them a big, big boost of energy. Yeah, you know, Steve, I was, I was remarking to a colleague of mine uh, when, when we were walking back to our car that, that uh, it is, it's remarkable to me that on an issue-by-issue -issue basis, the media will project – to the world that the liberal position is what has the strength, it is what has the passion, it is what has the momentum. And in issue after issue, it's not so. Um, if, you, if, you know, if you look at, look at uh, abortion as, as a classic example, where you can have a pro-abortion rally in Washington, D.C., and 1,000 people show up, and it gets on the news, the right-to-lifers will have 100,000, and no one hears about it. Right. Uh, well, the, the, the same um, rule is now applying with grassroots political activism. Um, with the, the media covered endless reports, endless reports about Occupy Wall Street, hundreds of reports about all these things around, uh, around the country. Um, the only thing you'll hear covered about the Tea Party is negative stories about the Tea Party. But what you don't hear reported at all is how much larger the Tea Party is than, than anything Occupy Wall Street could ever come up with. And what you saw today was a classic example of this. This was just organized virtually overnight, and thousands upon thousands of people came. Uh, the left can't do that. We can do that because we have the numbers and we have the passion. Right, and on a Wednesday, you know, that's that's a tough part, too. And, I, I, I and, asked, and yeah. all of our people work for a living. That's what I mean. So I asked the organizer. I said, why not on a Saturday or a Sunday? And she said to me yet last week, because we want the Congress people to be in session. We want them to hear us. We don't want to, we don't want to do this when no one's there. We could get a bigger crowd, but we want a better effect. So, you know, kudos to, to, to her and kudos to everybody who showed up. Exactly. I mean, what you saw in that sea of people was uh, working uh, men and working women uh, who took the days off and didn't get paid to, to do this. That's called sacrifice, and that's what they did. But I tell you, the sentiment is out there that, that uh, uh, the, the, this IRS scandal on a number of levels seems to be a bridge too far for this administration. It's not the secrecy. It's not the lying. It's not the cheating. It's, it, it's all that and and the refusal to tell the truth for nobody knows still knows what happens the media are complicit in this campaign to silence because they won't cover this story at all they they've dropped the story completely but it was such an abuse of 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 of, of people personally you know you, you talk about 400 plus uh tea party organizations that were targeted in effect, they were the membership of those 400 Tea Party organizations is what was targeted. It was the members whose organization was targeted. So people are taking it very, very personally. That's why so many people showed up. And well, they should. We're talking to Brett Pozell, the Media Research Center, here on the Steve Malsberg Show. Okay, so so now your organization, uh, no doubt, will do a study, uh, an analysis, keep track of the coverage of this event uh, in the media. I'll be talking about it, I'm sure, on Friday with Noel Shepard, associate editor of Newsbusters. Org when we do our, our regular weekly hit. Um, what do you think uh, the coverage will be like? Well, I, I did invite everyone in the audience to, uh, to reach out to a reporter on the scene, give him a hug, give him a kiss, and scream <laughs> in his face. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, if the, the coverage, it will be something akin to what we've seen so far. And, I mean, it was predictable. When the, when the scandal erupted, and it erupted, there were 96 network news stories 
uh, ABC, NBC, CBS in the first two weeks. That's a significant coverage, and, right. and that was good. But you know, people would ask, "Well, does this mean that the media finally turned on on Barack Obama and the Democrats?" And, and my answer then, I think I said it on your show, is this is a lover spat. Yep. This, will, this, will, this will be soon forgotten. It went from 96 stories in the first two weeks to 31 stories in the second two weeks to one story last week. Yeah. This thing has veered now. People might say, well, this is because it's not newsworthy anymore. What was going on while the media were not reporting it? Uh, what about the fact that the Inspector General's report uh, also found that, and it came out last week. Well, we only that, got about 30 seconds, but go ahead. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, just leave it at this. There was plenty to report thing, on. But, but, there was but, but, plenty. Thing, yeah. yeah. How about secret cameras that the IRS had ordered secret cameras to hide in ashtrays and, pot, and uh, potted plants and in clocks? It, it, that came out on Monday. On Wednesday, they canceled the order, and I bet you 9 out of 10 Americans have no idea. Well, absolutely. That. And you think that's reportable? You think that's news? <laughs> hey, Brent. Do you think if George Bush did it? <laughs> oh, my God. Well, that, that's, the, that's always the case.